Hey everyone, welcome back to How Techs. Today we have an iPhone XS Max. I'm going to show you how to set up a personal hotspot. Now, this phone just came out today. It's hot off the presses. Uh, this is the first phone by Apple to have a dual SIM card function. And uh, we may or may not have figured out that there's a bug in here when we tried to turn on the hotspot. So first of all, uh, to get to the hotspot, you want to go to settings and then you will see a personal hotspot here under mobile data and it shows that kind of chain linking for the hotspot icon. So you wanna click on that and you'll notice here on this phone, uh, it's grayed out, you can't turn it on. You can set the password, uh, but you can't set the switch. So uh, we weren't sure if this is an error or something in particular or perhaps because of the SIM cards that we have in here, normally on uh, an iPhone, it checks whether the SIM card will allow you to do hotspot sharing before it allows you to turn it on. So you may never see this thing turn on, even on a regular iPhone. But for some reason, these cards should work, but they don't. And there's no option to choose primary or secondary or anything like that. Uh, it's just not working. But we found perhaps a workaround or uh, an exception in the bug. So if you go to the uh, shortcuts menu here, you pull down and there's all the kind of Wi-Fi and uh, radio connectivity here. Just push on this one and it brings up the sub menu. And here you can actually see personal hotspot discoverable. So you can make it not discoverable or discoverable. So uh, it turns out whether this is on or off, no matter what it actually says, uh, this one will always be off. And there's no other option elsewhere like something. Under mobile data, for example, there's no place to switch it on or off. I'm actually covering up my phone numbers here, but there's no option for hotspot here. On previous versions of iOS, there was actually also a button here to turn off the hotspot while you were adjusting the data things. So there's no way to visibly switch it on either here or elsewhere, except for that shortcut. Okay, so let's do a test to see if this thing is actually discoverable or not. So first let's check uh, saying that it's off right now under personal hotspot. And let's check here also. And so it's showing that it's on. This is really weird. This actually happens sometimes. Uh, it's probably a second bug. So if I switch this off and then leave and then come here and okay, now if I check it, it's on again. Uh, okay, that's weird. Let's try turning it off again. Okay, now and I go back and I go back and it's not showing up here and I click here and it's on again. So this is actually pretty wacky. I don't know, maybe my phone is just broken uh, or maybe it's everyone and they need to push an update pretty soon. But basically it's it keeps doing it. Doesn't do it every single time. Um, I think, let's see, if I come right back again, it's not on. But if I open settings, is it on? Let's see if it's on. It's on again. So despite the fact that this says that it's off, it's opening this thing up, basically turns it on again, apparently. So that's pretty wacky. Um, let's also test it out. So first of all, let's go in and make sure that it's on or off. So here's showing it as on. Uh, let's actually take a second phone and first we'll switch it off and see what we can see, what Wi-Fi networks are available. So uh, here we do not see the iPhone XS Max. And now let's switch it on and see if it shows up in a second iPhone 10s Max is there. Okay, so apparently it is discoverable. Let's try to connect to it too. And we're actually able to connect to it. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, and it's showing that one is connected. And if I go out, uh, it should hopefully show, yeah, there's a little blue bar here at the top. So I guess that's the indication that you have a hotspot connection. Um, so just for the heck of it, let's check this again. And it's still showing that it's not there, but we are connected to it. So let's check this and yeah, it's on. So let's switch it off and now we're off and we're disconnected and that guy is no longer blue and this thing still shows that it's on. So very strange, interesting bug, uh, but apparently, you know, it does work. It's just not indicating correctly from this particular radio button. So uh, be warned, there is the workaround. So just, you know, push and click on here and then you can actually switch it on and off there but it may or may not stay off so be forewarned okay so that's it for today on how Techs. 
Uh, if you guys appreciate these tips and tricks, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you have found the same exact problem on your phone, let us know if you think it's something with my cards or whatever. If you have any, if you have any suggestions on other ways around this, do let us know in the comment section below. See you guys next time. Bye. Today we have an iPhone 10s Max. I'm going to show you how to insert and remove SIM cards. As you can see, we have two SIM cards, and this is the Hong Kong edition of the phone.